My name is Brian Loeffler. I'm a hand and upper extremity specialist at Ortho Carolina. I practice at our hand center locations as well as at the South Park location. I'm an upper extremity specialist, which means I take care of patients that have conditions ranging all the way from the fingers all the way up to the shoulder. We basically see two different types of patients. We see people who have had an acute injury or a very recent injury that's caused a break in the bone or an injury to a tendon or nerve or a blood vessel. And then we also see patients that have more chronic conditions or conditions that have been going on for some period of time. Oftentimes they'll come to the office when they're having pain or things that are interfering with their ability to do their normal daily activities or if it's interfering with sleep or impacting them in their work. Those are probably the main reasons that people come in to get evaluated and see what is going on and how we can help them. One of the most common reasons that patients will come to see a hand surgeon or come to see myself is for a condition called carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when a nerve that's going down the forearm and into the wrist is getting compressed at the level of the wrist. And when a nerve gets squished in this condition or compressed, it can cause numbness, tingling, burning pain that goes into the hand and into the fingers. During the course of a visit, we can examine the hand to determine if in fact that's what the condition is. And then after we have honed in on the diagnosis, then we can discuss it with the patient what the treatment options are going forward. Carpal tunnel syndrome really has three types of treatments that work for it. For some patients, we start with just using a wrist brace, which they can wear at night and it prevents them from kind of curling up when you sleep. And that can give the nerves some rest and it can actually help with a lot of the symptoms like pain, and numbness and tingling and waking that can occur. A second treatment option for carpal tunnel is to do a steroid injection. And what we do is we, we know exactly where the nerve is and how to get right next to it. And we can do a little injection of steroid into the wrist that can help calm down the inflammation and reduce the pressure on the nerve. Sometimes after trying a wrist splint or using an injection, the symptoms persist or maybe the symptoms are very severe and they didn't really respond to those other treatment options. We can do something called a carpal tunnel release and we just numb up the hand. We make a small incision over the palm where we can take all the pressure off of the nerve and we describe it as saying that it allows the nerve to wake back up and that can eliminate the numbness and tingling and even weakness that can develop into the hand when you've had pressure on a nerve for a long period of time. Oftentimes these surgeries are done in an office setting with just local anesthetic. Afterwards, we allow the patients to use the hand right away. They can use it for light things. They wear a dressing over the hand or to keep it sterile. And then after a couple of weeks, we'll remove the stitches, make sure that the hand is working well. And then we'll usually restrict putting any real pressure on the palm or doing any heavy lifting for about four weeks after the surgery. After that, it's a gradual return to all activities. One of the other conditions that we see often in our office in evaluating patients is arthritis. And arthritis can affect the wrist and it can affect the hand as well. So this particular patient came in with a lot of pain at the base of her thumb. And what we see when we look at her x-rays is we see a severe amount of arthritis in the, in the thumb. So if you look at some of the other joints within the hand, you'll see that there's a space between the bones here at the joint, and that's where the cartilage is. In this patient's case, the cartilage has been completely worn down, and so now she has bone on bone. There's absolutely no space between the two bones there. When we first see people with these conditions, we like to start with conservative treatment, things like taking anti-inflammatories or Tylenol, wearing wrist braces or types of devices that can immobilize the joint to rest it and protect it. If patients have had those treatments and they're still having pain, in some cases we'll give a steroid injection. But if someone has had all of those conservative type of treatments and is still having significant pain, fortunately in the hand and wrist we have some really good treatment options for uh, these arthritic conditions that are surgical. For the base of the thumb, which is the most common type of arthritis that we see in the hand, we can do something that's like a joint replacement like you may have seen for a hip or a knee or a shoulder for example but we don't use implants we use all your own stuff as I like to say so we use the tendons that you have in the wrist to create something that's like a joint replacement that can work really well in the elbow the two of the most common conditions that we see are called tennis elbow or golfers elbow so 
Tennis elbow is a type of tendonitis that affects the outside of the elbow. Golfer's elbow is where you have a similar type of tendonitis on the inside of the elbow. It's a condition where the tendons, where they're attaching to the bone there, can get little partial tearing in them. And it could be from repetitive use or from a specific injury, or it could be something that just happens over time. But we have a lot of different treatment options available that can help to get the pain improved and allow people to get their strength back in the hand and get back to doing everything that they like to do. One of the most common injuries that we see in our practice is something called a distal radius fracture, and that's a type of a wrist fracture. And the treatment options for distal radius fracture really depends on what the bone quality is like and how severe the fracture is. When possible, we like to treat them non-operatively with a cast. But if we see that there's significant deformity or if there's a fracture that goes into the joint, we like to fix those because it can allow patients to get their range of motion, strength, and function back as quickly as possible. But it also can prevent problems from arising in the future. One of the most common injuries that we see around the elbow is a tendon rupture where the biceps tendon, as it inserts on the bone or attaches to your radius bone, can pop off. That can be from an injury where there's a big load coming to the elbow and it causes a forceful extension It actually causes the tendon to pull off completely. When a tendon completely pulls off of a bone, unfortunately, it can't heal on its own. The only way to get it to go back to where it belongs so that it can do its normal function is to reattach the tendon to the bone. We'll talk to them if it, about whether they're a good candidate to have a repair to reattach the tendon to the bone. As a hand and upper extremity specialist with the added training of working on just the arm, we become extremely familiar with the intricacies of the anatomy. We know exactly how to get to those structures safely to protect all the other structures, go in and fix the problem. We really take pride in the ability to take care of the community and we're always looking forward to taking care of people who have conditions that affect the hand all the way up to the elbow and even shoulder. And so we, we love to have patients come in and visit us at our different locations. If you have a condition that's affecting your hand and upper extremity function, find a hand specialist at one of our office locations. I'm at the hand center and at South Park, but we have hand specialists at many of our offices around the Charlotte area. You can come on in, we can take a look, get to meet you, figure out what's going on with you, how it's affecting your life, and what we can do to try to help you.